Before I had come to college, I had never really worked with 3D before and had always done like drawing and stuff. And then um, I took my first ceramics class and I realized it was like a million times easier for me to make something with clay than to actually draw it. And um, so when I started this project, I knew immediately that I wanted to work with clay. And um, so I started thinking about what other materials I wanted to use and I decided on paper mache because you wouldn't really think of it at first, but paper is a lot like clay. Once you get a lot of it together and start putting the paste in, you can really mold it um, a lot in a, in a really similar way than, as you can with clay. And um, I, one really important part to me is making an environment with my work. Um, I had done a lot of like building pieces before. I made like lighthouses, trees, things like that. And I wanted to put it all together to really make a solid environment that you can really feel like you're a part of and really feel like it's a real place. And um, I like to make little details on my work that really bring it all together. And you can really tell that um, it just seems like a complete um, place and has like a really sense, a sense of uh, rootedness and a sense of place. And so uh, I, I started with the houses and I built them all up and um, into a general shape of a house and then started carving away until I got uh, the result that I wanted. So um, you can see every, every little stone is hand carved. They're all three dimensional. I didn't want to just paint on my details because that's too flat. So I really wanted everything to just be really three dimensional and um, have a real sense of texture and, and a sense of uh, volume. So you can see like all the, all the window panes are hand carved, all the, um, the roof pieces, all the stones, and, um, and I think that just adds to the whole feeling of like a complete environment. And I think adding to the sense of environment is the fact that I am working with nature. Um, I really like the shapes and colors and everything that you find there, and I'm really interested in the idea of combining uh, man-made elements and um, things from the human world with nature, so you can see um, I like to add like like the dock and the water, not just the water. And um, I've done pieces with like a sailboat in the water, so it's like um, not, not one aspect is overpowering the other, it's just a man and nature in harmony. And I feel like I really want the viewer to get that sense of peace, that sense of harmony when they look at my piece. Um, one more thing that I want the viewer to feel is um, I think my piece has a sense of like hominess to it. I think part of that is because I didn't really base all my houses on any one particular thing. They're sort of a collection of things that I've seen before, um, different memories. Like uh, there's a window right there that's like inspired by a window in my grandparents' house, and um, the stones remind me of like a part of the siding of my house. And I feel like when you look at this, like everyone's seen similar things, and it's sort of um, almost like a nostalgic kind of like homey feeling that you get from it. And um, I also one thing that was important to me was for it to have a sort of narrative quality where when you look at it, it's not just like a static, dead thing, it really feels alive. And um, I just want everyone who looks at it, I feel like you start thinking about like who lives in these houses and uh, you sort of create for yourself a story about this place. And it's not just, it's not just something you look at and move on, like you start thinking about it in your mind and make up a whole story surrounding my piece.